JK. Hey guys, it is me, DJK, once again. We are here. If you just watched my Week in the Life video, um, you'll know that this video is about goals. Um, and again, if you saw that, you will know this is not a how-to guide as such. This is basically a really quick, short video on my interpretation and my understanding of goals and how they work for me. This should not be taken as gospel. This should not be taken as the only way to do things. There are so many ways to do things, guys. This is what works for me. This is how my brain processes and understands things. This may help you. You may think, what the hell are you talking about, Cole? This works nothing for me. Um, and you sh you're a complete idiot. That's your opinion. That's fine. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. This works for me because of how my brain works. If yours works differently to mine, and it possibly does, probably does, then this won't help as much. It might there might be parts you can pick and choose from, but this might this is probably not going to be your ultimate guide. Okay, so don't interpret it like that. What I just want to do is share some knowledge, share some experience, share how I work, and hope it helps. So, the first thing that I start with is setting my goals, obviously, right? And I am a big believer of SMART, SMART goals. Because for me, I like breaking things down, which I'll explain a bit more later. But I like to break things down. I need things to be organized, understanded, understanded, understood, um, and have a concept of what I'm actually gonna do. And SMART goals for me really nails that. Now. As I'm sure many of you know, and there are plenty of videos on there, so please do research this more. SMART goals should be SMART. Goals, hmm, did that wrong. SMART goals is an anagram. It's specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. SMART. So, this for me really helps make things tangible, okay? And why I mean that's, imp why that's important for me especially, and I know for a lot of people on this one, is me going, I want to DJ Tomorrowland. That's not really smart. That, while it might be a goal, it's not really a smart goal. And there's nothing there that's gonna help me get to that goal, okay? It's not really specific enough. It's, it's kind of specific, but it's not really. I want to DJ Tomorrowland. Okay, do I want to do like a five minute set? Do I want to stand on the stage? Do I want to headline main stage? Do I want to be on this stage? What, what do I actually want? I want to headline the main stage at Tomorrowland playing an hour set that's going to be what I want to play. Whatever music inspires me at that time is what I want to be playing on that stage. That is a bit more specific. It's got to be measurable. How do I measure that? Well, my measurement will be, am I on stage at Tomorrowland? Fairly easy to measure that one. But if it's not as clear cut as that, you've got to think, how do I measure this? How do I know I've actually achieved it. It's got to be attainable. So this goal might not be attainable for me, at least any time soon. But this is going to, this relates to what I'm going to talk about a little bit in a bit. So it's got to be attainable. I can't go, I want to be the president of America because I don't live in America. I, I, I don't know, but I'm fairly sure you've got to have probably been born in America. So it's not really attainable for me. It's also got to be relevant. Um, it's got to be relevant to what you want. And for me, relevance means inspired. That's how I like to look at relevant. If it doesn't inspire you, then it's not relevant to you. Like, my a relevant goal for me might be, I don't know, start a carpentry business. It's relevant to me. My dad's a carpenter. I built stuff. But it really doesn't inspire me. At no point in my life have I gone, I want to be a carpenter. So it doesn't inspire me. So while it might be relevant, it doesn't inspire me. So it's got to be relevant to you and inspire you. And of course, it's got to be time bound. There's got to be a time where you've got to, to do it. It's got to be done within this time frame. So we're going to talk about time frames and elaborate that a little bit. Because for me, this really helps break things down even more. Because as I say, I like things to be broken down and having little broken goals, little broken down goals helps you achieve them. So I like to think of really short, short, medium and long term goals. So really short might be the next couple of days or a week. 
Short ones might be a week or a month. Long term goals, um, sorry, medium term goals might be a month to a year and your long term goals will be a year plus. So my short term, my really short term goals might be by the end of this week, I want to have published this video. That's really achievable. That's really specific. This video will have to be, I to, to, to make that specific. This video will have to be recorded. It will have to be rendered. It will have to be edited. It will have to be uploaded to YouTube. I will have to have created the titles for it as well as the um, description for it. That is just, that is specific. That is specifically what I want to achieve. How do I measure that? Well, it's going to be on YouTube and you're going to be watching it. Is it attainable? Yes, because I just need to do it. Is it relevant? Yes, it's relevant to everything that I'm doing. Does it inspire me? Yes, because it makes me talk about my goals. If I'm talking about my goals and I'm talking about how you can get your goals, I'm going to want to get my goals. Time bound, as I say, within the, it's got to be within the week and it's, ideally it's going to be done by the end of the day. That is a smart goal. And again, you use that to plan for your little ones. So one week, sorry, a couple of days to a week, a week to a month, a month to a year and a year plus. Those are how I define my goals. And having these helps you understand what you want to achieve. And, and for me, my goals will always end up towards my main goal. So if my five year goal is this Tomorrowland one, I'm using this as an example. Yeah, it's great to play at Tomorrowland, but it's not really my main goal. Lovely. So if Tomorrowland, if you're watching, hit me up, but we'll talk about that later. So if my year, my five year goal is Tomorrowland, that's a long way. That's a long way. And that is very difficult to understand how I'm going to get there. So then I set my year goals. Well, my year goals might be I want to have played this, 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 this festival, or I might want to have played these clubs, or I've done, done this. How do I then achieve those? That then spans these goals. How do I achieve those? That then spans these goals. So all of a sudden, all these goals are hit, then I hit that goal. All these goals are hit, and I hit that one. When these two are hit, I've hit that one. And when these ones are hit, I then will be able to hit that one. So I've got to layer my goals. I've got to break these down into smaller bite-sized chunks that I can achieve. The more of these goals I'm hitting, the more motivated I'm feeling. If my one goal is that and I'm not hitting it, I'm not hitting it, I'm going to get bored. I'm going to be uninspired. I'm going to be demotivated. I'm not going to want to do it. Whereas if I'm smashing and setting these small goals and I'm crushing them, I'm destroying these goals, I'm going to be motivated. I'm going to feel fantastic. I'm going to want to keep going. And then if I keep going, I'm going to get that end goal. You've got to have these little wins and you've got to be, you've got to be, you've got to persevere. You won't get all these goals straight away and that's okay. Don't get demoralized. If you haven't hit your goal, why haven't you hit your goal? What went wrong? How could you have improved that? What do I need to do now to get to that goal? Reset it, reanalyze it, redo it and go get it. Okay. Failure is not failure. Failure is I didn't achieve it right now. Okay. That doesn't mean you can't achieve it. Failure doesn't mean that you have failed. Failure, for me, is not doing it again. If my goal is, take golf. I'm a golfer, as everyone knows. Take golf. If my goal is to get a hole in one, and I don't do it, I haven't failed. I've not achieved it that time. And I need to, re I need to relearn, re-practice, and re-achieve it. For me, that failure is when I walk off that golf course or I walk off the driving range and go, I'm never gonna try that again. That's when I failed. That moment is when I failed. If I go, I'm never gonna try this again, that's failure. Not achieving it straight away, that's not failing. That is you needing to practice more. That's you needing to understand more. That's you needing to learn more. And those are good things. That's a good thing, okay? So, smart goals, break them down, to short term, long term, really short and all that sort of stuff. Break them down, achieve those small goals. And now, lastly, um, because to get this out of my head again, I've got a nice little image here that's gonna help me explain this, which re reiterates a bit of the stuff I've sent. But when you want to set and you want to accomplish your goals, you've obviously got to know what your goals are and you've got to commit to them. You have got to commit. All these goals, while they're just in your head, aren't goals. They're just ideas, okay? You've got to write it down. You've got to tell people about it. Don't tell everybody. Keep what you're doing private to you. I complete, I, I'm, I do like that concept. My people I trust and the people that I know will support my journey, I will tell some of my goals to. 
I might tell Darren or Vicky, who are like my best friends, I might go, hey, in five years, I want to play at this, and this is how I'm going to achieve it. And they might go, wow, that's incredible. Or they might go, why are you telling me this, Kyle? But I know why, because I've committed to that, and I've made it real. If they're all in your head, and they're all just imaginary thoughts, you're not going to achieve them, and you're not going to want to achieve them, and they're not going to be tangible enough. You've got to make it tangible, okay? There's got to be some way of knowing how you're achieving it. Write it down. Stick it on a bit of paper on a wall. Have it somewhere for you to commit and just declare that you're going to do it. And this again comes, this next point comes to the whole relevant and passion towards it. You've got to know why you want to achieve it. Why do you want to play at Tomorrowland? Why do you want to start your carpentry business? Why do I want to get a hole in one? And if that why doesn't inspire you, it's the wrong goal. Okay? Simple. Simple enough. Your why has to inspire you. There's a person who speaks about this, Tony Robbins, and Robinson, Robbins, one of the two. Um, and he's he speaks about this a bit. And his why is incredible. And you've got to have your why. You need to know why that's going to inspire you. You need to know why it's going to why you're doing it. Why it's going to benefit you. How you're going to achieve sorry, why why is it going to benefit you? Why is it relevant? Why does it inspire you? Why do you want to do it? You've got to know your why. Again, the time bound, there's got to be a deadline for it. You've got to be accountable. You can't procrastinate on those goals. I do that too much. That is my biggest flaw in terms of goal setting, is I procrastinate on these goals so much. And I just need to not. So if you're like me, don't do it. I know it's easier said than done because I don't do it. But you need to focus on those goals. Set rewards. If that's going to help you, set a reward. What's going to be my reward for getting it? Realistically, the reward of getting the goal should be a reward enough. But if it's only a small goal that you've set because you know it's going to help you achieve the bigger goal, but it really doesn't inspire you that much, a way to get around that is have a reward. If I want to make my YouTube get a 1,000 subscribers, and I know doing that is going to be uploading a video of me talking about plants... It's totally not, and I'll be a completely different for YouTube channel. But if the way I want to talk, the way I want to do that is for me uploading a video every day about plants, I would need a reward. I would need a way to make that interesting to me. So that might be I go and get some food. I might buy myself something. I might meet some friends. It doesn't have to cost you money. It doesn't have to do anything like that. It could be I get an extra half an hour of watching TV. Something that's something that you wouldn't normally get or do. Have that as your reward. And again, this is where my other parts of this come from. Break it down. Like I've said, mini goals, mini achievements, steps and lists. I cannot talk enough about lists. I have lists for everything I do, pretty much. Anything that goes well has a list. When I go to a gig, I've got a list, okay? For me going to a gig, there's the list. It's, I wake up at this time, free time. Prep for the gig. So if, I, if there's any last minute songs they wanted, any music selection I haven't done yet, that goes there. Then I'm gonna then I'm gonna load up the van. Then I'm gonna double check all my equipment. Well, I'm gonna check my equipment, load up the van. The van. I'm then gonna wash. Sorry, yeah. Then I'm gonna wash. Then I'm gonna eat. Then I'm gonna change. Then I'm gonna do this. Then I'm gonna leave at this time. Which means I get to the venue at this time. Which means I set up at this time. Which means that I've got this time spare. Everything is planned out to the to, to the minute. With, obviously, plenty of exception. But plan it. List it out. I'm going to do these videos. These are the things that I need to talk about today. Downstairs, I've got two whiteboards in my room. One is the calendar with little with the things of the plan of the day. So if, my, if I've got a gig, that's on the little side there is where my, my understanding goes. I've got a big blank whiteboard where I set down other things that I want to achieve. I want to do this, I want to do this, this is how I'm going to do this. It keeps me visual. It keeps me writing things down. And if I'm writing them down, they're tangible. And if they're tangible, they're out of my head. When they're in your head, guys, like with the mental health stuff, if they're in your head, they're not, they're not real. It, you find it very difficult to deal with something that's not real. As soon as something becomes real, like a phone, then it's, it's doable. I, my, if my goal is open my phone and I don't have anything tangible, I can't do it. There we go. I've done it. It's got to be tangible, guys. So... Lastly, last point on this is planning ahead. And this comes this is something I do without wanting to do it, and I do it way too much, way of all my bipolar and stuff. Planning ahead. 
is identifying obstacles and come up with solutions, which is great. You should do it. If I set my goal, I've got to understand what might go wrong and how I can plan for it, okay? If my goal of setting up a carpentry business is I don't know carpentry, then I've got to identify that is an obstacle. That is going to be a big obstacle. So how do I get around that obstacle? Okay, well, the how do I get around that is learn carpentry. How do I learn carpentry? Well, I'm going to set these goals to learn carpentry. That is how it works. So plan these, see these obstacles. Think in your head, think through your plan. What could go wrong? I'm going to launch a club night. No one turns up. How do I plan around that? I'm going to DJ in this club. They don't talk to me. How do I get around that? All these things have got to have solutions to problems okay yeah that's pretty much it this was only going to be a minute or two long video and i've only just scratched the surface of talking so i'm going to stop now because this was only meant to be a short video and i suppose 15 16 17 18 minutes is short in the grand scheme of things but this is longer than i was expecting it to be but this kind of hopefully gives you a bit of an idea and understanding of what i mean when i talk about goals how goals can affect you and how goals can help you and a few things that help me to achieve them. So yeah, guys, hopefully this has helped even a tiny bit. If you do have any questions, please, please, please comment on the video. Ask me these questions, shoot me messages. I'm happy to help and talk about people, talk about these things, because as, as you see from my other videos, I want people to achieve. I want to help other people get their goals. So yeah, if I can help guys, let me know. If you've got any questions, let me know. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. As always, it's been wonderful. Go and smash those 2020 goals. And if you're watching this at the end of 2020, go smash those 2021 goals and so on and so forth. Go smash those goals, whatever they are. However small and insignificant they might seem, because they are not small and insignificant. Crush them, get them, and help you achieve what you want. Have a fantastic day, guys.